Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I aim to share my best settings for the Quest 2 virtual reality headset with you. So I've spent quite a number of hours tinkering with the settings in both the Reverb G2 and the Quest 2. And the first thing I want to say, and it seems to be a reoccurring theme, is I'm so impressed with the Quest 2. It's so much better than it used to be. The Oculus app used to sometimes crash when I ran the simulator, but that seems to have stopped now, which is great news. The settings that I've got dialed in at this point give me a very smooth, very clear experience in VR. Some of the things I've noticed with the headset is that the colours can look quite washed out compared to the G2. However, it was like this before the update, so it's nothing new. But to be honest, there's not many negative things to say about it. Even with the problems related to the recent update, the headset's performing really well. Anyway, let's have a closer look at my settings. Here you can see in the Oculus app, I do have version 30 installed, as I haven't yet received the download for version 31. I've set my graphics preferences to 120 hertz, with a render resolution of 4480 by 2256. So you can see on my menu here, I've got the slider at 1.4 times. This is one of the main settings I spend the most time in. What you might want to do is put the slider all the way to the right, on the Mac setting, and run the sim. And if things don't go smoothly, notch it down one and work from there. So I worked from the top down. I can get it a bit higher than that, but I prefer the way it performs at this level. So spend some time experimenting with this setting and see what you're happy with in terms of the performance and the way things look initially in the sim. I've connected the headset to the PC with the link cable this time. Next up we've got the Oculus Debug tool. The only setting I change in this is the asynchronous space warp. I've disabled that. I find when this is turned off you don't get any artifacts and the graphics is way smoother. To be honest I'm not sure this is possible to do in the Oculus app therefore I use the Oculus Debug tool. I don't use the Oculus Tray tool anymore because from what I've read a lot of features are now included in the Oculus software. I'm using the newest Nvidia driver 471.41 and here are my NVIDIA driver 3D settings. Remember you can pause this and use it for reference later. As always I have game mode switched off and hag switched off. And here are my in-game VR settings. I think it's important to know that I'm running 100 render scale in-game. I tried with lower settings on this, but I think relating it to the Oculus setting, this works best. You guys remember these are my personal preferences and it works for my system. Hopefully by following this setup guide, you can try dialing in my settings on your computer and then work from there. So it should give you a starting point. One of the big decisions when I face when dialing in my settings is the choice between a very responsive experience where you can feel all the different movements in the play and the turbulence. You can see in the clip I'm using SoFly Weather Preset Pro and I've got the setting on building storms and it's giving me turbulence and it's giving me a lot of motion. So I chose that to show you how smooth the experience is and how much better it is when it's responding like this. If I notched up the settings too high, you would lose those details in movement because you're skipping frames. And that's the major reason why I don't always run headsets to their full capacity in terms of graphic settings, especially in this kind of simulator. I find the way things move the most important thing. I guess it's because we're always flying around and traveling and moving. When using the Quest 2, I did notice a shimmering effect sometimes in the distance. I'm not sure what's causing this, and I did see it before update 5 sometimes. It's a bit like everything with this sim at the moment. It's a bit hit and miss. So after a few restarts it seems to have disappeared, but I'm not sure if it's going to come back or not. Sometimes changing the weather seems to get rid of it a bit, but to be honest I'm not really sure what that bug is. So those are my settings so far. I really hope they help you get started with your own setup. And like I said earlier, use this video as a reference to get started with your settings and work from there. If you have any alternative settings or groundbreaking discoveries with the Quest 2, please let me know in the comments below. It's always interesting to compare notes with the same goal in mind, and hopefully all Quest 2 users will soon be in the sky enjoying the VR experience. Anyway guys, if you like this content, please like and subscribe, and I look forward to making more videos soon. In the meantime, take care, and stay safe.